Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update from me, uh, Martin. I'm an Inkscape programmer and I like to pro program features for um, users. Uh, first of all, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank, th thank you for the continued support from my Patreons. Uh, thank you so much. Um, every little helps in going towards making sure that I can continue to serve users' needs through this project. Okay, so what did I get up to this week? The first thing is, is that last week I did a talk at LibrePlanet. It was a very good talk, uh, very well received. Uh, thank you every, everybody who managed to watch it. Um, what I'll do is I'll post a video to it when it becomes available. Um, although the organization that's behind the uh, conference, uh, the Free Software Foundation, um, has some organizational difficulties, should we say. So I'm not entirely sure when or if the video will become available, uh, but hopefully it will. Um, actually, the funny thing about that is that my talk was actually scheduled at the same time as a controversial talk in another room. So, drama. Um, we have uh, lots of updates this week, I think. First thing is uh, extensions. So I did a bit of work on extensions this week. These are the Python programs that uh, Inkscape can use in order to extend its fun functionality. Uh, I rehabilitated my old MathML extension. Uh, this is sort of like an alternative to LaTeX for creating uh, um, mathematical expressions inside of Inkscape. MathML is a is a sort of web language for creating mathematical expressions. Uh, it isn't well used as far as I can tell, uh, but I thought it was an interesting experiment when, when I wrote it, so I figured I'd, I'd just keep it up to date and I've committed it on, online for anybody who wants to try it out and use it. Um, I also updated the extensions API, so um, this was specific. First, first of all, I had to fix a critical problem in the um, way in which we were um, saving images in the um, was it? it's not export images. It's it's uh, extract images. So there's a way where you can extract the images inside of Inkscape to say, for instance, a PNG file on your disk. The extension didn't know where the SVG file was, so it couldn't save the uh, extracted images to anywhere. But of course, it didn't know this. It instead, what it was doing is it was saving the extracted images into a temporary location. So you would extract your images; they'd be linked correctly. It would work, and then you'd restart, restart, restart your computer. Those images would be deleted, and your data would be gone. Uh, this is a critical problem. We do not accept the idea that your data should be deleted willy-nilly. Um, apologies to anybody who was affected by that particular problem. Um, I actually had to engineer Inkscape itself to tell extensions where the SVG file was, uh, because otherwise it, it wouldn't know. And we've never before uh, told extensions where the, the target SVGs were, uh, which has actually caused a lot of issues in the extensions API. So being able to fix this is hopefully going to solve a number of problems. Um, I also added API elements for uh, putting descriptions and titles onto objects. Um, so some cleanup for, from the API end uh, tests, which is always great. Um, if you have any suggestions or, or interest in extensions development, let me know. Uh, I've got a few contracts coming up involving writing extensions for Inkscapes that I'll hopefully be able to share. Um, Okay, so moving on, I did some uh, more work on the website. Um, I'm recording more fields and I did some more update work on the um, uh, when you edit resources so that we can do these extension management stuff more easily. Uh, implemented some more of the design, just moving it forwards ever so slightly. Uh, I also spent some time fixing tests in the Django website. So over time, the tests have become a little bit... Uh, a bit rotten, so I wanted to fix them so that we can start to upgrade Django and get it more fun fun functional. Uh, tests are actually a very important way to do, do development um, so that you can make sure that any changes that you introduce in the future don't break the things that you had in the past. The more tests, the better. Uh, tests are often a, a, a hard proposition 
um, and, it, and and it's not a different. It's, it's not actually a difference between the proprietary world or the corporate world and the open source and public world. Often tests are just not highly valued, even though they actually can stop you from spending an awful lot of time later on patching and fixing problems that you would have seen if you'd have had a test for it. Um, so uh, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. So this week there's actually been an awful lot of Google Summer of Code uh, entrance. So what we do is we accept stu stu students uh, and they... Um, work on a project during during the summertime. But in order to be eligible, they have to uh, uh, basically fix bugs in Inkscape first. Uh, so we have to introduce new, I mean, quite a few new individuals to Inkscape, get them set up, help them locate documentation, and then review the changes that they make. Uh, so there's been an awful lot of that going on. Um, it, when it comes to actually Inkscape itself, uh, there's a, I put in a whole bunch of the graphics. So we did the, 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 the tagging for the beta. So 1.1 1, 1 .1 beta last week. And so now I managed to do the project of putting in all of the welcome screen graphics, working with Chris Rogers to, to decide which graphics to, that should go in. Uh, adding fonts to, for, for the welcome screen. Technically, the three fonts that we now ship will be available to, to you when you install Inkscape, but don't rely on them. They're just there for the user interface. Um, but, you know, uh, they, they look nice. I hope everybody likes them when, when, when they're shipped. I also put in a developer, uh, welcome screen so that the, the developers, uh, you know, when you're using the development version of Inkscape, it, it looks visually different. So it's distinctive, which is, uh, something I want to make sure of so that when people report problems, uh, you know, in, in, the version of Inkscape is more obvious that they're using a development, maybe something that could could break. Um, and I think that's it for this week. Uh, thank you very much for listening. If you have any comments or you have any interests in what I should be, be doing next week, uh, I have some Inkscape-related contracts coming up, uh, so hopefully I'll be able to give you updates on those. And please subscribe, share these videos, and um, I'll see you all next week.